Hey guys, it's Tony here, and coming at you with another Pika video. Now, the last Pika video I did, so that was like my last hurrah of the summer, um, but this is like my last final hurrah of summer collecting, and I went out with a bang. I'll show you guys what I got. Pretty much everything that I got, uh, and I'll explain where I went, I I wanted. Uh, and there's some thrift store stuff in there too, but the stuff that you see in this video, it's like, man, I've been either looking for this, or I've been wanting for a long time. Uh, now, this past Saturday, myself and a few of my friends... We went to, uh, it is the first annual, so it's the first time they've, they've done this, uh, the Missouri Video Game Con, uh, and just a few thoughts about that. It was at a very, very small venue, it was actually, actually at an Elks Lodge, and it was put on by a local game store in... Uh, St. Louis area and I actually been to their store and it is awesome. They actually have imports Their prices are pretty pretty decent um, But anyway, it was kind of a small venue but the games that were there um, They were rare Never seen that many rare games before in my life in one place I saw like Little Samson, Action 52, Snow Brothers. I saw a lot of Snow Brothers. It was kind of strange. Uh, Clay Fighters, Sculptor Cut, In the Box, Complete, Worms Armageddon. Um, saw a few um, Flintstone, Surprise of Dinosaur P, a bunch of Super Nintendo RPGs. Complete in box. I've never seen those before. But the prices were like right at eBay. So what's the difference between going there um, and just buying off the internet? Well, I mean, it's still cool to see that stuff in person. Um, and... The cool thing is, though, you can trade, you can make deals, you can try to uh, have some wiggle room. So there is a little bit of an advantage to going to these cons. Now, I had one goal, and I'm actually going to share that at the end. Because I saw like three or four or five of these online. Now, they also had like tournaments going on, but that place was jam-packed. We actually had to wait to get in. Um, probably over three to four hundred people in a very small little hall. I hope that they um, have a bigger venue next year and kind of have things spread out, have a few more guests there. It was still really cool to see, uh, excuse me, Steven Lucas. He was there. Um, the Nintendo. Campus Challenge Champion from 1991 was there. That's him. So we got to talk to him. I actually bought a game off him. I'll show you guys. It's pretty funny. But uh, I had a good time. We also hit a few, not as many because we were kind of running out of time. Uh, a pawn shop, a couple of thrift stores. Um, and yeah, I, I thought it was a good weekend. Now, in my pickups video here, I also have stuff that I picked up throughout the week. It's been a slow week for me. First of all, I've been setting up my classroom um, and getting in there, having some professional development training. But you guys don't care about teacher stuff, right? Um, but I'll get into it right now. Then I'm going to start with my thrift store pickups for the week. Um... This is cool because I did not have it. It's an Xbox, original Xbox. 
controller, there's the dongle you put in. Um, but yeah, it's it's the Xbox remote. That's cool. Um, I also got a Wii remote for like two bucks. Actually three, but still even that price is really good. You can start to accumulate these, do trades, you know, build up, buy consoles that are incomplete, whatever. And that's what I kind of do whenever I see these. And it's missing the strap, but oh well. Um, I also picked this up. It's a PlayStation 3. Controller red. I don't have the red one. I'm actually gonna keep this. It works perfect. I paid actually 250 for this one. So you can't beat that. I mean, I know PS3 stuff's going down in price, but still. Uh, also, another thrift store pickup. This is sealed, and it's gonna remain sealed. It's a PSP uh, screen protector pack case thing and I'm not gonna open it I I collect weird stuff like this it's not really weird but uh, the last of my thrift store stuff and oh, oh boy woohoo rock band country pack track woohoo right Tony Hawk Underground PS2. I actually have it on Cube. And another Woohoo game, Connect Adventures. So there's my thrift store stuff. Now uh, let's get to the non-gaming stuff first. And some of you guys may know this, some of you may not. I do collect glasses, like collectible glasses. And I've been collecting Star Wars ones pretty hard. Here, I'm actually missing six to complete the entire set from Burger King. And uh, these are really cool, and it's like I knew I had to have them. Um, so I got this. These are both Empire Strikes Back, my all-time favorite movie. There's Luke, and uh, I don't ever recall Luke wearing... A blue jacket like that. Uh, Yoda's on there. Okay. That's really cool. Okay. And this one I'm probably going to keep down here. Just because it kind of fits with my... I have a Vader shelf. Um, but it's, it's Darth Vader and Boba Fett. And there's actually, and if you notice, right by Vader's head, that's IG-88. And you fight him um, in uh, Shadows of the Empire on Nintendo 64. And that's really cool. I'm actually probably going to keep this down here. Um, but yeah, cool. Very, very cool. Uh, now to the Missouri Pawn. Okay. Or actually, I'll do my... Pawn shop, uh, thrift store pickups here. Not much in St. Louis. Not normally what I would pick up, but I've already spent a lot of money at this point. And uh, I just basically got stuff that I wanted. And uh, normally if I go to St. Louis and I go game chasing, <clears throat> excuse me, I hit literally probably... Upwards to 15 to 20 thrift stores and I can do that within a day Especially if they're open later till 7 or even some goodwills are actually open till 8 um, But I can hit upwards to that amount and get actually some okay stuff um, These I got at a pawn shop five dollars a piece This is uh, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 remix didn't own it they got this for five bucks, and I didn't know it was a two disc game. Final Fantasy 13 on the 360. I have it on PS3. So, kind of like a variant. 
I didn't know that I had two discs. These I did get at a thrift store. Chicken Little on the cube. Um, it actually, I mean, yeah, it is a kid's game and Disney game, but I might check it out. Now, this is cool. I actually have it on DVD, and I've never seen this um, in person, and I've never really seen it in thrift stores, and I kind of hunt down VHS tapes, kind of going with my Star Wars theme here. Ewok Adventure. Um, and it's pretty minty. Uh, and eventually I'm actually going to display all my VHS tapes. I'm going to get another shelf. It's not going to be in my game room. It's going to be outside of my game room. Um, so this is really cool. It's mint. And I would need uh, Ewoks The Battle for Endor. Yeah, that's the other one. Uh, this looks like it came out in 1990. That's crazy, right? But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, these movies are crap. <laughs> if you've never seen them. Okay, to the con stuff. I actually did some trading. Before I get to that, just a couple of shout-outs. Um... Trading Games, if you guys have not subscribed to him, he is awesome, He uh, he's in Fenton, Missouri, he actually has his own YouTube channel here, Trading Games, just uh, search him on YouTube and you can find him, he has probably the biggest collection I've ever seen in the world, hands down, most complete collection, uh, pretty cool guy, I talked to him. He's a he's a down to earth guy. I like him. Um, this this guy I won't share that one. Some guy out of Warrenton, Missouri. Um, and yeah, I also traded with some people in line because I was getting bored and I saw that people had stuff in their hands to trade. They actually had like boxes. So I talked to a few guys just right before we got. Uh, into the place and uh, I did a trade for I've been looking for this one and he actually just I offered five bucks for it I didn't really trade uh, jumping jack flash 2 and it's it's like complete and it's like scratch free I have the first one in the long box uh, I also got this I've been looking for this one for a long time I actually would prefer to have it on Sega Saturn, but I'll take this. It's you guys probably laugh. It's Casper. It's really good. It's underrated. I would say it's a hidden gem. Okay, it's kind of like a puzzle adventure game, puzzle solving challenge. Challenge. Okay, so yeah. Um, this is great. Good game. Now I did buy these for cheap at a booth. I was running out of money. I had a little bit of money left. So I was like, man, I, I got to get some other stuff. I'm here. Um, I, only, I was on a budget. Okay. And that's what a smart, a smart thing to do at a con is to go off of a budget and have goals. And I'll show you my goal. And I met my goal, by the way, um, here in a minute. But I did pick up Baldi's. This is a really strange game. It actually came out on uh, oh, 3DO. Or no, 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 no. Jaguar CD. Which I'll get to that here in a second too. I didn't get a Jaguar CD. So I'll talk about that. I also got Strike Point. PlayStation 1. And don't quote me on this. But I think you can use the uh, um, light stick. Um, I also got Doom 64. So now I'm down. I I need 23 more games for the 64 to have a complete set. Uh, I've been just slowly whittling that down because I've seen Conquer or not Conquer. I've seen like Worms Armageddon over Battle and 
and uh, sculptor's cut go like skyrocket here the past year or so. I'm like, man, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. But I got that for only 10 bucks. That's pretty good. I've seen it go for like 25, 30. So I thought I got a good deal. Um, this is really cool. I've been looking for this one for a while for a good deal. Um, and I actually ended it on the cast. But I've been searching down this version. Sonic Adventure DX, the director's cut. And I actually remember playing this on the cube back in the day. And on the cast back in the day, of course. But it's a great game. Um, this is funny. I paid a dollar for it. I couldn't pass it up. Um... And it's my first one in the, um, for this system, which I'll probably never own. Um, <laughs> it's Blue Lightning on its Jaguar CD. You can't pass this up when it's a buck. Y'all, come on now. It actually has, like, the, the overlays for the Jaguar controller I have a I have a jack controller and it has the manual in here and everything uh, if there was ever a system that totally flopped and, and straight up failed it was the the Jaguar CD and it's like really good shape I bought that from uh, Steven Lucas <laughs> that's funny so I'll just put that kind of my random stuff. Uh, getting close here to the end. Okay. I'm saving the best for last. Now these are cool. I've been looking for these. Okay. One of the labels is a little messed up. But that's alright. I'm just going to put it in my collection. I need six. Now. Final fan And I need the easy type. One, two. Final Fantasy IV, Japanese, Super Famicom. Really cool. Final Fantasy V, Japanese, Super Famicom. And I got a really good deal on these. Um, also got Prince of Persia, Super NES. It's actually a Konami game. And guys, last but not least here, I am... Super, 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 super stoked about this. Um, been wanting one of these now ever since I got the cart. And it's one of my most sought after boxes. There's like two more boxes that I'm just like, I, I gotta have in my collection. I need Zelda, uh, Super NES, I want that one. I also want the Zelda Ocarina of Time Special Edition one. I had that years ago. And, uh, I can't remember. Some other RPG on the SNES. Oh, Final Fantasy 2, of course. Final Fantasy 4, too. Um, maybe, like, Mystic Quest. That one's not as super hard to find as this one for a good price. Hey, um, but story, I had to trade to get this, okay, and I pay a little bit of cash, but I still, I had a goal, I wanted to get this at the con, okay, and I'm very, very, very happy to have this in my collection now. It basically increased the, my value of this game, uh, Basically, like, added like $200 to the value of my game, okay? And uh, I'm going to keep it in this protector case. Um, I'm not going to put the game in it because I want to play the game every now and again. But it's Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger. I traded for this, and you guys might think I'm crazy. Super Metroid, Super Mario World, uh, Zelda, Super Nintendo, uh, Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Yellow, Banjo-Kazooie, 
Banjo Tooie. And I paid 30 bucks for this. Too. Okay, so he kind of got. But I didn't get the game. I just got the box and the manual. Um, I'm gonna show the back. Man, that's so cool. That's so cool. I've never even seen one of these in person. Never seen a box in person before. Um, th this is this is it, guys. This is like my favorite game of all time. I'm so happy to have this. So happy to have it complete in box. This is like it. I had the goal of buying this, finding a box, making a deal for it, and um, I'm very glad that I did. Um, very glad that I got this in my collection. I'm super stoked. This is a great way to end the summer in my collecting. Okay, so like I got Ninja Gaiden Trilogy, cheap. I got uh, Sunset Riders, cheap. Got to meet Walter Day, Billy Mitchell, all those guys in Atumwa. Um, knocked off a few games off my list. I got this. So those are like kind of my highlights of my summer. I mean, I bought a ton of games. Completed my game room. Moved. Uh, got into the setting. Started a YouTube channel. I'm very excited to actually be doing that. But I've had a great summer. Hey, I've done more than I normally do in a summer. Uh, game collecting and actually like messing with my games. Uh, I'm very happy to be doing this. Hope you guys enjoy this. Hey, please leave comments, like, subscribe. And I hope that this week is good for you. I hope that this week it treats you well. Hope you guys enjoy whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, if you do not enjoy what you're doing, you need to do something different in your life. Whether it's a career um, situation you're in, do something different about it. Okay, um, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will catch you guys on the flip side.